What are progression-free survival and overall survival? The distinction between the different measurements of survival that we use when we're talking about clinical trial results is actually really important, is overall survival, which is sometimes abbreviated OS. Overall survival refers to the duration that patients live from the start of the trial. And that's very much in distinction to the term progression-free survival, which refers to the length of time that patients live without any evidence of progression of their disease from the start of the trial. Progression-free survival, or PFS, really indicates how long the myeloma will remain under control from the start of the trial, including, though, patients who die from complications of treatment as an endpoint that obviously we would want to avoid. Overall survival, which is in some ways a more meaningful endpoint, really looks at just how long do patients live overall from the start of the trial, even after their myeloma has progressed and they have moved on to other treatments. So this is something that I think some physicians don't always know what they mean. Um, so I went back and took them from the National Cancer Institute's uh, publication. So if you go to www.cancer.gov, you can pull this up. If you Google it, you'll find it. And progression-free is the length of time during and after the treatment of a disease such as cancer that a patient lives with the disease, but it does not get worse. So you can actually have disease present, but it hasn't progressed. You could be in remission, it hasn't relapsed and progressed. In a clinical trial, progression-free survival is one way to see how well a new treatment works. Then overall survival is the length of time from either the date of diagnosis or the start of treatment, such as cancer, that a patients are diagnosed with the disease are still alive. In a clinical trial, measuring the overall survival is one way to see how well a new treatment works.